day day another beautiful day in WA and even though the sun's not entirely out it's still been pretty good down here in Coley uh, getting led around by young Lee from bush rats here showing us around some of the awesome little spots around town and uh, doing a bit of a cleanup along the way my name is Jay and I'm from Operation Bin Chicken um, I started uh, Operation Bin Chicken about well, 18 months ago now um, I was originally uh, in the army. I spent 16 years as an armored crew uh, soldier, as you call it. And uh, yeah, spent 16 years moving around Australia, um, deployed overseas a couple of times, and yeah, was really loving it um, until unfortunately in 2020 I was diagnosed as having uh, severe depressive illness. And so I basically was uh, put off work for indefinite. Um, yeah, I needed something to sort of get myself back on track. And so one thing that always worked for me, um, I've always been heaps into outdoors, being out in the bush. I've always felt a lot more comfortable out there than I ever did in the city. So basically I you know, was putting a lot more time into heading out bush and you know, seeing what WA had to offer. And um, yeah, just kept finding places trashed, unfortunately. So um, started cleaning up and you know tidying up the campsite, leaving it better than I found it. And I actually ended up feeling pretty good as a result of that. So I just kept doing it. And that's led me to where I am today with Operation Bin Chicken. So yeah, basically heading out bush, um, seeing the sights and leaving places better than I found them. We hit uh, Stockton Lake today and uh, pulled up quite a bit of rubbish from there, so that was pretty good. And yeah, just having a ball. Now we're down by the river, camping, hunting, fishing and shit. So one of the things that um, I'm very passionate about is getting more people involved in cleanup operations. So that's why we leave these uh, monthly camp out cleanups open to any and all people. You don't have to be a veteran, you don't have to have served in the Defence Force or Police Force or whatever. It's open to anyone to come along to because realistically we're all trying to get the best out of the bush and do the best thing we can for the bush. Um, if we keep seeing places trashed, if we keep leaving places trashed, then they're just going to get closed down and that's no good for anyone. I want to bring my family out to places like this and you know let them experience them in I guess safety and cleanliness and stuff like that. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why we come to places like this so we can leave them better than we found them and then people can actually still get to enjoy them before they get locked up as we've seen happen with a number of other places as well. started Operation Mid Chicken as sort of a way of um, not only dealing with my own issues that I was going through at the time, um, but also getting myself active and stuff like that. And I thought that if it was something that could help me, surely it could help other people around the country as well, um, predominantly uh, with the veteran community as well. Um, I find that a lot of us, when we get out, we are kind of lost almost. Um, we don't really have that same sort of purpose or drive. Um, that we used to have when we were in. And so I thought with Operation Bin Chicken, it could be a means for um, getting other people, veterans involved and getting them outside, getting them um, 
sort of reconnected with the country again and still serving um, the country um, in a small way, if possible. Um, so that's why I, I kind of started doing what I was doing. Where I hope for it to go in the future is eventually I'd like to see um, us become a registered charity. Um, it's a lot of behind the scenes work that needs to go in um, to achieve that. But once we are, then we can start working with things like RSLWA and other veteran service organisations to actually uh, start getting more veterans on board and coming out with us on our clean up operations. Um, I'm looking at doing um, a camp out clean up at least once a month every year and we're also looking at doing uh, something that I call a remote rubbish uh, patrol, which is basically where we go out into middle of nowhere and clean up along the way. Um, so yeah. And with that all said, my main message, my main takeaway for this guys is clean up after yourselves, all right? Don't leave anything behind. If you've got the space in your vehicle or whatever to take it in with you, you've got the space to take it out. It may be smelly car ride home, but trust me, it's a lot better off in your local refuse center than it is left out in the beautiful bush, okay? Because you're just gonna do damage to the environment, you're gonna do damage to the wildlife, and you're ultimately gonna do damage to yourself because these places are gonna get closed up quicker than you can snap your fingers, and we don't want that. We wanna be able to come out and enjoy. So, clean up after yourselves, and I'll see you on the tracks. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yep.